do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends today we are starting our new type of afd sfd and bmd in previous sum we are seeing udl and point load in this type we are seeing with the uvl also uniformly varying load let's see the sometimes in exam is coming uniformly varying load also let's see the type of uniformly varying load now let's see this is a question draw afd sfd and <coughs> PMD for given frame. This is a complicated diagram given in the exam. You have to draw AFD, SFD, and BMD all the three members AB and BC and CD. Now in in this in this one, one thing is new for all of you. This is coming triangle. Otherwise, you all know triangle is nothing but UVL. And what is uni UVL? Uniformly varying load. Now. Now the problem is coming for UD, UVL. First of all, you have to know what is how to find out how to convert UVL into point load. How you will come converting UVL into point load? Uh, in UDL, you are taking force into that distance uh, to find the load. Okay, and uh, for distance, you simply divide into two parts. But in UVL, what we are doing? In UVL, we, how we are finding the load? We are finding the load to apply the formula of triangle, area of triangle. Okay, now what is the formula? Half into base into height. We have to apply. Now I am just see, explaining you one example how to convert UVL into point load. Let's see. It's not a part of our sum, but for basics, I am explaining a little bit small. Okay, see, this is your for example, this is an example example for uvl type sums okay this is an example see if this is uh, your uvl okay if this distance will be 2 meter this is 20 kilo newton per meter now now you have to convert this into point load okay now okay now convert into point load how will you convert first we have to find the load how will you find the load half into base into height Okay. How will you convert this? Is not the formula half into base will be two, height will be twenty. And this two, two will get cancelled now. This is twenty kilo newton. Okay. Now convert into point load. This is twenty kilo newton. Now this twenty kilo newton in simply supported beam where it will act. This is for example this is simply supported where it will be act. It will be act somewhere else. For example, I'm just freely put it over here. This is twenty kilo newton. Okay, now what is the, this distance and what is the this distance we have to know and what is the this distance see from this side this is the UDL UVL is starting from here that's why from this side you have to take the two third of two third of L L means this two and from this side we have to take the one third of L means two third of L means this will come this value will come 1.33 and this value will come 0.66 so we have to add both of 6 7 you're going to write add this to this will come 2 meter so this is a this is a point you have to remember to solve the frame also see how to convert uvl into point load half into base into height this will convert and from shorter side see this is a shorter side of uvl this is a longer side of udl that's why from shorter side of uvl you have to take the two third of l and from longer side of the udl you have to take the one third of l okay this is a just example i am explaining you this is a just example now let's start with the sums now see this is our sums we have given this five kilo newton per meter this is base and this is height and this is base and this is height but 
but is but you are seeing this this is not a triangle and not a square this is like a trapezoidal this is like a trapezoidal so in that case either you can apply the formula of trapezoidal or you can divide it into two parts what i am doing i am dividing the two i am dividing trapezoidal into two parts see for this you have to divide this into two parts like this now it is your udl and this is your uvl both is coming over here this is your udl part this is your uvl and this triangle is nothing but your uvl okay now now what i have to do now now see this is your roller sub hinge support and this one is your roller support now we have to find out the first reactions you have to find this value this is va this is vd and we have to find this h also this is your h okay now why am i why am i bring why i am doing over here h a because see this is going this direction so h will always come in this direction you can take this or this direction after in minus sign you can change the direction also okay now write down the first step solution start with the solution now see solution first step is nothing but support reaction calculation now please listen please see the diagram carefully and then write the reactions okay now what i am doing first we are taking first taking taking we have to find this value first to taking moment at a equal to zero see write it over here taking moment at a equal to zero okay taking moment at a equal to zero clockwise positive now see this one see we are taking moment over here a and now we have to take all this load this one this one and this one and this 10 kN. so see put a rod over here and apply the load 5 kN per meter in uvl so this rod will bend like this this is going clockwise so positive now so positive so positive means first you have to find the load so how will you convert into point load half into base into height so half into 6 into 5 solution support reaction calculation what we are taking taking moment at a equal to 0 clockwise positive okay so let's see now you are taking moment here now see how will you convert uvl into point load half into base into height because put a rod over here at a and fix it at a and apply the 5 kilometer meter over here this is going clockwise so positive half into base into height half is half into 6 into 5 half into 6 base into height is 5 ok now this is this is force it's just a force now we want perpendicular distance also now what is the perpendicular distance over here see as you all know from shorter side the length will be perpendicular distance will be 2 third of L so so 2 third of L and L will be your L will be this distance 6 6 okay now force into perpendicular distance we have done with the one part this part now see this put a rod over here and apply 10 kN from up to down but this will going also clockwise so 10 into this distance this distance is nothing but 1.5 meter plus 10 into 1.5 now see this one here there is both UDL as well as UVL first take the UDL what is a UDL UDL is nothing but 2 into 2 this value is 2 into 2 into see this is also comes positive 2 into 2 this is force perpendicular distance will be what is the perpendicular distance see this will distance perpendicular distance will be 2 by 2 plus this distance see this 3 because we are taking moment over here so for this will divide 2 parts this will come at 1 
this one and this 1.5, this 1.5 total will come 3 plus 1. This 3 plus 1 is nothing but 4. Okay, so 3 plus 1, sorry, 2 by 2, which is 1. After that, after that, this triangle, UVL, half into base into right first, plus, plus, half into base into height, half into base into height. Now, we are taking this UDL, and see, this UDL 2 from here, this distance is also with 2, okay, please remember this thing, so, half into base into half into 2 into this distance is also 2, so, this is not 4, this will Two, okay, now this is force. Now what is perpendicular distance? Perpendicular distance will be 3 plus this distance from shorter side it will be 2 third of L. So 3 plus 2 third of L. L will be 2. Okay, now we have done this part. Now now see 2 third of L. Now what we have to know unknown is VD. VD into this distance. This distance will be 5. So this will come, see this will come like this, this is rotating anti-clockwise, so minus sign, minus Vd into 5 is equal to 0. While solving all this value, directly put it in, sorry, directly put it in the calculator and solve the all values and you get the value of Vd will be 19.93 kilo Newton upward, okay. The VD will be 19.93. Applied over here 19.93 kilo newton. Okay. Now what? How to find VA? Simply apply the summation F y equal to zero. Summation F y equal to zero upward positive. Okay. Now see, this is going up positive. This is going down negative. This is also going down negative. This is also going down negative or this is going down up positive. So, VA minus this distance 10 minus this UDL 2 into 2. Now, this UDL, now this UVL also get minus, minus half into base into height. Okay, now this will come positive plus. 19.93 equal to 0. While solving this, you get the value of VA will be minus 3.94 kilo Newton. See, this will come minus. Minus means VA will be 3.94 kilo Newton downward direction. We have to change the direction of this part, VA part. VA part, we have to change the direction. See, we are we are drawn upward, we have to draw downward now. This is your main part now. 3.934 kilo newton. Now while, while, so while drawing the SFT, SFT and BMT, we have to take this direction, downward direction, not upward direction. Because we got the minus, means our assumptions will be wrong. So we have to change the directions. Down, down direction, 3.934 kilo newton. Okay. Now, now find, now we have done with M, or done with moment, done with X, Y, now moment, now sorry, now FX. Summation FX equal to 0, this will come positive. Okay, this will come positive. Now in, in X direction, this is going this direction, so minus, minus HA, now see. This will go in this direction, this U, this UVL. So plus plus half into base into height is equal to zero. While solving this, we get the value of HA. HA will be 15 kilo newton from this direction. Okay, this will come 15 kilo newton from this direction. Update it in the sums. 15 kilo newton. Okay. Now we have done with the first part support reaction calculation. Now our next part will be we are considering the different different parts and draw their AFD, SFD, and BMD. Let's consider first part A and B.
Now we have considering consider part A B. Now draw the FBD of A B part. Now see, now you get this when we are taking A, this we can take this downward direction 3.934. Okay, now see this level will be okay. Now what is our next step? Our next step is nothing but while seeing joint A, point A and this is B. While seeing A we have to balance the point B. Now see 3.934 is going downward to balance B, A we go upward. Simple A. It's very simple. So let's directly you can solve. See now see this 15 kilo is going from this direction. Now, this will also come 15 kilo. Now see half into base into height. Half into 6 into 5 cups 20. Sorry 50. This 15 and this 50 will get cancelled. So this value will come 0. Okay. Now extend the part and draw the A of the SFD and BMD. Now, first one is first one is AFD axial force diagram. Okay. This is your A part. This is your B part. C. Now, we have now cancel करना है sir A part. और हमको देखना है A part. Okay. Now start. Consider part AB. Now you have to draw the FBD of the part AB. Now see, while drawing the AB part, remember we have to draw this 3.934, not upward one. Okay? We have to draw this downward part. Okay? Now this downward part, and we know the 15 kilometer over here. Now seeing at A and balance the B, do not need to see over here. Okay? Now balance the part A. Here is given 5 kilo newton per meter. So 6 meter. So A. B, C. Now see 3.934 is going downward to balance this, this will come upward. Okay, now see this 15 kiloton is going from left right to left and this UDL is going from left to right and this 15 and this 15 will get cancelled half into base into it half into 6 into 5 is always coming in 15 and this is also 15 this 15 and this 15 will get cancelled so this value is also get 0 ok now extend the part and draw AFD, SFD and BFD Now our first part is our first part is to draw AFD axial force diagram. Now draw the axial force diagram over here. This is your B and this is C. Now see this is going not compression but it is tension. Tension means it will come positive. Positive sign we are drawing outside the frame. Till now we are doing the sum comes with the compression but in this sum it comes tension means we have to draw outside the frame we have to draw AB in right, right to left okay outside the frame okay this is tension so draw it over here 
become 3.934 3.934 is positive distension axial force diagram okay now we have done with the axial force now the next part will be shear force diagram now next part will be shear force diagram now see in shear force diagram we have to take section either left or right as you all knows you can draw directly also see this will be part and this is your c part sorry a part now see this uh, this 15 km is going up and this udl is also there so we are taking just left and just right when we are taking just left will come first come zero when we are taking just above this 15 km is coming which is clockwise which is clockwise means outside the frame so 15 will come over here something 15 just joint it 15 join the 15 and bend and shear force at b b there is zero so b left or right we are taking there is no load so b will be zero now c in uvl in uvl in uvl remember one thing we have to draw while drawing the sfd we have to draw the uh, in uvl we have to draw the parabolic curve in shear force diagram and for bending moment diagram it will comes to 1 degree curve extra means it's parabolic sorry cubic curve okay now draw the curve so it will become like this this is nothing but parabolic curve okay now we have this is also positive we have done with the sfd part also okay now what about the bending moment diagram now draw the bending moment diagram as you am as i am explaining again and again for bending moment diagram always see the original figure now what is your original figure original figure is this now you are taking bending moment at a will be zero write it over here bending moment at a equal to zero we are following this sign convention Okay, bending moment at A will be zero. Now, bending moment at B is equal to. Now, bending moment at B means either we have to take this part, either we have to take this part, or we have to take this whole part. We are taking, we are taking which part? We are taking this B A part. Now, what will become C? This 15 into this distance come positive because C. This will rotate like this, and this is like this. So, this will be. This this one man, means this will follow this sign convention. Okay, so that's why it come positive. 15 into this distance six plus 15 into six. Now this UVL and UVL UVL will be hog the diagram. See this is hogging the diagram. This hogging so negative sign minus 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 half into six into five. Half into base into height. This is nothing but this is a force only. Now, what is the perpendicular distance? As you all knows, from longer side it will be one third of L. So into into one third of L will be six. Okay. Now you are solving this. You get the value sixty kilo newton meter. Now we got the value bending moment at B will be sixty kilo newton meter. Okay. Now draw the. Now see, this is parabolic curve. Now here we have to draw the cubic curve. Come like this. This is nothing but cubic curve. Okay. This is your. This is also positive. So outside the frame. Okay. Now see, we have done with this part AB. Now let's move on to next part. Our next part will be BC. So let's see. Okay, now move to next part. Next part will be B and C. Now, see students, we are considering part B and C. Now, draw the FBD of that part first.
method now now see now see what we are doing we are just take see this is going 3.943 going upward when we are point solving b and c just simply take downward 3.934 okay now now while seeing b we have to balance this part or you can take or you can directly simply or you can simply this will directly move to b and this will part move to c directly you can write this also okay now see 3.943 is going downward this also going downward this all also going downward while we are solving summation fy you got the value this going upward this will go upward this is 19.934 kilo newton okay you can solve by directly or you can this this will directly this 19.93 this will transfer to c or you can solve how will you solve c 3.934 got minus 10 is also in the minus sign and this is all also in the minus sign so this will come positive to because we have to balance all this part over here okay see you have to get 19.93 kilo newton this is your C part. Now extend this all part first. See, now how you draw the AFD? See, since there is no horizontal load, okay? That's why our AFD will come directly zero. Axial force diagram. We have done this part. This is your B and this is our C, okay? Now, after that, we have to find this shear force diagram. Okay, for shear force diagram, first draw the beam. Okay, now calculate over here shear force calculation. Okay, first one is shear force calculation. Sign conversion. Okay, now see. Shear force B at left equal to 0. Shear force B at right equal to we are taking the marker over here and we are seeing this side only. See, this side will come minus sex B. This marker is nothing but your dot dot line means your section. We are seeing section. We are put section over just left right of the B and we are seeing left side only. In left side upward will positive and downward will negative. So this will come downward. So this value will come minus 3.934 kilo Newton. Okay. After that, shear force E at left equal to shear just left. We are taking we are taking this side only. So minus 3.934 kilo Newton. Okay. Now, now shear force E at right equal to C right equal to downward means negative up for downward means negative. So minus 3.934 minus 10. Okay, it will come minus 13.934 kilo Newton. Okay, now after that. C. When we are solving shear force at F and C in UDL or UVL in the corner of UDL or in UVL, no need to take just left or just right because there is no change. We are taking just left or just right. But please keep remember one thing: don't convert UDL or UVL into point load. Always kept it on that way on C. Okay. C. Now we are when we have to take it UDL and UVL for shear force directly take the corners of that force. Okay. C. Just take shear force at F equal to, okay, we are taking section over here, we are seeing just here or here. So, so what for your, what you have to see, see this part is not complicated, but this part is too complicated for us. So, always see the left part, see this minus 3.934 minus 10, always it will come same as it is minus 13.934 kilo Newton, okay. Now, shear force at C is equal to, for C, either you can take this part or you can take this part, okay. So, C, in C part, there is come left and there is 
one part comes right also okay so shear force c at c there is point load that's why we are taking left right if there is no point load just we have to take that point only okay here we have the point load over here see this c so we are taking just left first just left over here okay just left and we are seeing right side so right side downward will be positive and this is going upward so this will come negative so this will come minus c at left minus 19.934 kilonewton okay after that shear force c at right will be we are taking section where we are seeing this side this will come zero now draw the diagram c first value will be start with zero zero this is your first part is minus 3.93 okay that will come over here okay now 93.93 from e it's also same so it will come like this okay now after that at e left minus 3.93 and e right minus 3.93 okay sorry sorry that will come sorry e at left will be minus 3.93 and right will be minus 13 so it will come down over here over down this is over here now see this will over continue over here now see this will come minus 19 this will come minus 19 but it is in c not in f shear force at f will be minus 13 we have done this part now see this c l and this is come with c so c part is over here so 19.93 come over something here here like this okay now it will not draw like this inclined straight line because it is uvl uvl so what we are doing in uvl we have to draw the parabolic curve so it will come like this will come like this and see all will go minus sign okay because all are going minus 3.934 13.934 this will 19.934 it will join to work here now draw the bending moment diagram now for bending moment diagram let's calculate the bending moment first over here now see in bending moment calculation always see the original frame we have to find bending moment at b e f and c now see bending moment at b bending moment at b is equal to 60 kilo newton meter which is obtained already because in the previous one see this is already done bending moment at b will be 60 kilo newton meter now bending moment at e as i all know we have to take either left or right which one is not complicated we have to take this part we are taking this part because which is not complicated so we are taking this part so write it down see this 19.934 into this distance this will come minus okay mm, sorry 3.934 minus into 1.5 after that this 15 will come positive plus 15 into 6 now after that this this will come minus this uvl will come minus because if we if you open this one like this your uvl come upward to downward so this start section this side this will go negative sign okay so minus minus half into base will be 6 into height will be 5 now this is force not a distance but distance will be c we have to take the perpendicular distance your force is here force is for example force is come like a distance will be this from this side from longer side distance will be one third of l one third of l means 6 okay now we have done with this part also now now see now we're done with all all this part all these parts while solving this you bending moment at e 
equal to while solving this you get the answer is 54.01 kilo newton meter now see we have done with the e part now bending moment at f equal to considering considering part f e b a means we are considering now this part f e b a we are taking over left side we are seeing the left side okay now see how it will come see it will come see minus 9.39 sorry minus 3.934 into this distance will be 3 3 now see this 15 will got plus plus 15 into 6 now this uvl also get minus minus half into 6 into 5 into one third of 6 okay one third of 6 now this will in this this 10 will also come in the picture so 10 into minus 10 into 1.5 minus 10 into 1.5 while solving this you get the value of bending moment at e will be 33.198 kilo newton meter okay now bending moment at c now mm, bending moment at c considering part c d then bending moment at c will be zero okay why bending moment at c will be zero because in c part we are taking section cd not taking this section whole section we are taking this side there is no horizontal force that's why that will come zero okay part cd does not bend at all okay that's why we are taking bending moment at c will be zero now draw the diagram now draw the bending moment diagram c we have calculated all the values bending moment at b will be 60 this will come over here bending moment at e will be 54.01 which will come over here 54.01 this is 60 and this value will have 33.198 this is 33.198 over here and this will come 0 now draw all the value now draw all the values see in shear force where shear force is a straight line this is inclined straight line okay this is parabolic curve this is p then this is cubic curve okay this well value will be 13.33.198 okay now this is your always come positive so we have done with the shear force diagram shear force diagram and this is your bending moment diagram okay now we have done with the second part also now let's move to the third part our third part will be what is our third part c our third part will be c and d now draw this Now draw the FBD of the third part C and D. See there is a roller, roller support. While so while seeing this, while seeing this, you have to balance this part. This is C, sorry, this is C and this is D. Okay now seeing the d you have to balance the c part how will you balance c 19.93 going from downward to upward to balance this this will come upward to downward 19.93 since roller support there is no load there is also no value okay 
now extend all these things and draw the AFD, SFD and BMD. This sum is quite complicated for all of you. So please listen first and just and then listen carefully and just execute all the basics also. Okay. And draw with the basics first. Okay. In the complicated problem, always draw the complicated problem. Always see and, and go with the simple way only. Okay. Now see what you have to do. Our first step is actual force diagram. To draw the actual force diagram, we can draw over here. Okay, this is our C and this is D. Okay, in axial force diagram, see this is coming compression. Compression means minus sign. Okay, for minus sign, we are taking inside the frame. So inside the frame will be over here, left, right to left. You have to draw over here. This is 19.93. This is also 19.93. This is minus sign because it's compression so since there is no horizontal force that's why our shear force will be also zero as we are calculating for bending moment previous sum also bending moment at c will be zero and bending moment at d will also zero so bending moment is also come zero over here this is d this is d this is c and c this is actual sorry shear force diagram Bending moment at C will be 0, bending moment at D will be 0 because of roller. Because of roller support, bending moment at D will also 0. Okay, now we have done with all the three parts. This is your third part, and this is our second part. This is our second part, and this is our first part. And this is our question given in the exam. Okay. Now we are done with this problem. Thanks for watching my video and subscribe the Ikeda channel. Thank you.